Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwame Asala, Koholoim La, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha HaKadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawab, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I was watching this video and um, redacted a little while ago. And this young lady right here, she she's going in, man. She's giving a lot of good info about um, you know, um, Trump's donors, who's um, you know, uh, uh, you know, giving all these millions of dollars to his campaign. And she's basically going off into saying that um, the donors, pretty much overall, that's giving up all the good money is you know, people that are about taking away the rights and privacies of the very people that actually his crowd is you know what i'm saying because you know a lot of these so-called white people they're, they're going to vote for trump they they believe that he's going to make america great again he's not gonna um you know give in to the bullshit so to speak and this man gonna be a complete terror man <laughs> once he get in there because you know you know me speaking as a man i think he gonna he gonna chop it up you know but these lobbyists or these people that have um you know that are giving this money to his campaign they are actually people that are against your rights and freedoms and, and um, uh, 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 you know, your liberties and all this other shit. So a lot of these so-called white people that's about, the, you know, these mega people, these magas, because they don't know no better. A lot of these people, man, they don't, they don't, they don't search into a lot of this stuff. They don't go off into uh, uh, a lot about who they're, uh, um, you know, going out to vote for or who's um, backing them and. You know, what kind of um, thoughts they have on certain uh, moral values and immoral, whatever the case. They're not into that, man. They, they don't care. They just kind of pick their side. I'm a Republican and the other side, I'm a Democrat. And they just fight it out, you know. But I want to get, and this is for educational purposes only as well. Copyright disclaimer. I am not using this for any monetary value or I'm not making any money off of it at all. It's just clearly and strictly for educational purposes only so i want to skip to a part where she's talking about i mean it's so much in it it's like a 35 minute um video basically but i want to get to about because she said something well she's going off into these donors man it's cold but i want to get to a point where she was talking about going off into some of the digital stuff you know what i'm saying as far as like Of course, you know they're gonna play uh, five dollars. That's enough to make a difference in this election. Yeah, shut your ass up. Americans on it. I can assure you that now in 2024, it is much larger. Um, right. Considering the amount of data that has been sucked up since then. So, like, let me back it up just a little bit. Because she's talking about these, um, you know, these systems, these, um, these data companies. Um, you know, th these are the donors. Now in a database that is backed by Palantir in some capacity, and they have no idea that they're probably labeled as such. And the very it's just it's mind boggling to me. So all of these Trump supporters go in to support President Trump. They don't realize that in the back end, the money that's flowing in has been monitoring them and surveilling them and basically labeling them as subversives to the United States. Yeah, well, again, we don't know the metrics that the, the Palantir or intelligence agencies use to determine who is subversive and who isn't. But if in 2008 it had 3 million Americans on it, I can assure you that now in 2024 it is much larger, um, right. considering the amount of data that has been sucked up since then and everything that has happened in this country since that time. Um, and so what, you know, what really concerns me here is that people, again, are believing that this is, you know, Trump is poised to fight uh, the deep state in his second term, but why is he inviting these people in uh, as donors? And not only that, considering people like Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan, who helped fleece Americans' wealth during the 2008 financial crisis uh, and st have him be Treasury Secretary, you know, the fact that he would even consider that is, is frankly, very disturbing. And, uh, you know, I, I think, again, uh, part of it goes back to efforts to sort of define the deep state as a Democrat-only entity but again the deep state refers to at least in my opinion uh, the unelected officials that serve between administrations in the government um and you know sort of like the unelected bureaucracy 
And, right. you know, as we've seen, you know, throughout American history, uh, they run it, every administration, whether it's Democrat or Republican. And in the case of Trump, you know, he had a first term. We can see what his policy record was. Did he stand up to the deep state on things like COVID or mass shootings or red flag laws and things like that? And I think people should go back and consider uh, the policies and not get so wrapped up in the momentum, perhaps, of political campaigns, because political campaigns are sales pitches. But as we've seen throughout American history, uh, presidents do not keep their uh, campaign promises. If they do, they keep very few. Um, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, the stakes are very high in this country. I don't think people can really continue to vote for the lesser of two evils indefinitely when they ultimately um, are beholden to the same system uh, that is building this bipartisan surveillance state. And what uh, especially. See? And, and the apostles, the elders say this all the time that is, you know, the Democrats and the Republicans, they all against you. <laughs> it's all the same thing. You know, they just kind of, you know, play good cop, bad cop. You know what I'm saying? You know, one, one, one side gets four years, another side gets four years. And, uh, you know, the, the next side come back and he'll get eight maybe. And then, and, you know, the Democrats come back through, they'll get eight years, you know, and then it's, it's back and forth. But it's all, you know, uh, uh, the same old thing, man. They, they're all in it together. So let me play a little bit more because this is where, you know, um, a point where I wanted to kind of touch on as well that she's about to talk about concerns me too is that some of trump's rhetoric on the campaign trail this time around is him calling for things like a biometric uh, u.s uh, entry exit system see that biometric what was biometrics that's going off into <laughs> you know a hey, one focus wanting you know to basically matter of fact you know what let's 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 google it let's get the let's get the the, the main definition definition for it because it's got to do with the body and it's got to do with measurements uh let's see i want to get the meaning and this is esau Edom, man the so-called white man he, he this motherfucker want to you know uh, uh he wants to implant everybody overall that's what that's what it's all leading out uh, leading up to it says for a quick biometrics definition, biometrics are biological measurements or physical characteristics that can be used to identify individuals. For example, fingerprint ma mapping, facial recognition and retina scans are all forms of biometric technology. But these are just the most recognized options. See, <laughs> you know, so so this man is trying to get into you. He's trying to get into you, man. Straight up. Let's let's play some more. Uh, entry exit system. Uh, so you'll have to scan your face to either cross the border or fly into an airport or travel internationally. And this is actually something that comes from the UN Sustainable Development Goals or Agenda 2030. And that's why it's being rolled out um, across the world in South America, the EU, the UK uh, between this year and next year. Um, so why is he promoting that? Why are campaign lawyers of his promoting the idea of using biometric digital ID uh, to vote? Why can't we use physical IDs? Um, to vote, you know, do we really need to give in to the digital agenda to save, uh, to to resolve these problems in the United States? Um, you know, I don't really think that's that's true, and I I think you know again this speaks to the influence of big tech on our politics. Uh, keep in mind also that you know one of the main big tech barons behind Biden is Eric Schmidt, and Eric Schmidt sh serves on the steering committee of Bilderberg alongside Peter Thiel, and Bilderberg is a closed door globalist meeting. Uh, where, you know, people like the, the chairman of the World Economic Forum and all of these people come together to chart out essentially the course of global events over the following year. You have Peter Thiel, a Republican donor, and Eric Schmidt, a Democrat donor, all on the steering committee. And uh, according to a 2019 Newsweek article, uh, they're the most influential people there, Thiel and Schmidt. See, <laughs> and there you have it. Republican and Democrats. So they all in it together, man. And, and people running around out here, they vote. They really thinking that their vote makes a difference. Get out and vote. They run, you know, they do all this bullshit. And they have no idea, especially so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They don't know what's going on. They don't know. They just out here, I'm a Democrat. Don't know what the hell a Democrat is. Don't know nothing about the policies of the people they're voting for. They, they, they don't know. They have no idea that these people are all together. 
And basically what it's all boiling down to, you heard her talking about the biometrics. <laughs> we know what it's boiling down to. It's boiling down to this revelation. And you know, the scriptures talks about being not ignorant of a, a, a matter, whether it's great or small. That's why, you know, and this is prophecy. We're supposed to be occupied in prophecy. He said to watch and pray. See little tidbits like this. This right here, you know what I'm saying, shows you where, we at, where we're at. He said, measure all the time diligently. He, he said that these things will be happening. And, and, and it's coming to pass, man. It, it, it's not going to be too long. You got these goddamn blackouts going on. They just had another uh, uh, a cyber test. You, you, you asked me, it was a damn cyber test. Revelation 13 and 16. And he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's biometrics. He, he wants to go. He's going to take it the extra length. It's not going to just be, you know, um, you know. Because, say, for instance. You know, um, um, they can get to talking about you can use a fake fingerprint or some shit or you could. Uh, use, um, I don't know, maybe a damn contact lens. You know, I've seen movies where they'll have a contact lens, you know, um, as somebody else's um, um retina so to speak and, and getting into vaults and shit like that you know you see these movies james bond movies and things of that nature you know what i'm saying or say you able to you know put on a a a, a, a skin so to speak or a mask and be able to so knowing these 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 higher ups they have that type of technology so just all they got to do is say well you know um People are using these particular things to get across borders and to get into airports and to do this and to do that. And, and, and they're opening bank account, whatever the case may be. So they can say, hey, well, now we, we're going to cut all that. We're going to cut all that. That biometric part is out of here. We're going to take the biometrics to a whole new level by implanting your ass. So we'll be uh, we'll know for sure exactly who you are, so to speak. They already got the tech. They got the technology. See? Verse 17, it says in that no man might buy or sell, save he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. So. They got the tech, man. You're not going to be able to do anything without this man's permission. And I can remember. Um, well, we had a couple of years to do it. I haven't done it, you know, but they got these new. Um, uh, uh, I forgot what they calling them, you know, but new IDs. Basically, you a, a real ID, I think is what it's called. So you're not going to, you know, right now, I think as a, I'm not sure if they started it yet. I think they kind of um, they might have pushed back the dates on it because of the COVID um, era. You know what I'm saying? Because it kind of COVID kind of slowed up a few things, I guess. But at the same time, too, during COVID, they was coming up with a lot of uh, a real ID hookups or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Where you have to have this enhanced ID or this different type of ID to. um to basically travel the scriptures talks about a, a man shall be uh, a matter of fact let me get it um in the apocrypha a man shall desire to go into a city and, and you notice she she was talking about you know this is what trump was talking about as far as like his administration and they doing the shit on it but see see trump is being sneaky because he's 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 got his people thinking okay well this would just be for the immigrants Immigrants will not be able to get into this country unless they go through this facial recognition, whatever, whatever, this, that, and the third. And if they, you know, if we allow them into the country, they can they can easily say, if we allow you into this country, we're gonna have to chip you to monitor your um your movements. It's not gonna be no um no tether or no um you know uh, no no shit on your ankle, you know, or nothing like that. You know, we're gonna have to really embed something in you if you want to get into this country. And you have a lot of immigrants that'll come through there and, and do that shit just to just get in here. So he's going to come with some, um, you know, some sneakiness, some crap. You know, you got to remember COVID-19. What well, this man was offering you damn Krispy Kreme donuts. He was offering people joints, you know, damn weed. He was offering um, um, a damn combo, you know, from a McDonald's or some shit. He was offering um, uh, 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 free tickets to games, you know, all kinds of shit. He was trying to get people to, um, to um, you know, um, go and roll their damn sleeve up, man. So ain't no telling what kind of incentives this man going to be throwing around. You know, when they um they actually push this thing out, man, because they're going to make it appealing. That's the thing. Um, 
No, no, I want to get second address. Second address chapter 15. Let me just start at 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw up nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. That's that's civil war coming overall. And for there for there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their kings, nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. So it's gonna be people that at a certain point that's gonna come up against these types of things. You know, because you're, you're going to have some resistance. You're going to have some resistance. Everybody not going to be running up, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, letting these people put shit in them just to eat. They're going to be out here taking shit. It says a man the point that I wanted to get right here too. a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. They can easily set up borders, man, and, and cut off any of these highways and, and streets or whatever and say, well, hey, you know, what sector are you from? <laughs> Where? What sector are you trying to go to? What's your business here? Beep. You know what I'm saying? Your ass gotta be barcoded and and scanned to just make it. You know what I'm saying? To see your mama or something, or go and see your your family in another state or whatever, or in another city, or it could be a few blocks away. You never know, man. They could have um um you know you know like those invisible dog fences. <laughs> I don't know why I thought about that, but you know those invisible dog fences. They got invisible dog fences where a dog will stay in that radius. I, I don't even. I'm not even sure how they exactly work. But let me see though. Maybe maybe we can pull something up on that. But they can have something like that in play, and and, and you trying. You know, uh, 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 you know, the, the, the damn uh, implant in you might be saying you're entering a zone. Uh, uh, you're getting too close, or you you're entering in a zone, an unrestricted zone for you. And it, 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 you know, who knows, man? Motherfucker might give you an electric shock, or you know, you go any further, it might <laughs> you might get a warrant. Hey, you just never know with this man, man. He saw, man, it, 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 this motherfucker is crafty as hell, because he's out here. He's he. You got to think about it. This man got all the money in the world to play with. To play, he plays with diseases. He plays with weaponry. He, 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 he's constantly looking for a way or looking for something new to destroy with. And he got all the money to play with to do it. Let me see if I could put, uh, it's been a while since I've seen any of those, uh, invisible, uh, dog fences, but it used to be popular back in the day. Invisible dog fence. So. Okay, so the dog. Uh, okay, so the dog got the collar on. Damn, they got this shit. Damn, they got a wireless dog fence system for seventy four ninety eight. I ain't even damn. Like, it's been a long time since I've been into some, seeing something like this. But anyway, so is this an electric fence? So they got a couple of um videos. Let's let's try this one because you know Esau into some shit. Awesome. I told you it was out there. Yeah. I know it's huge. Go try it. Go try it. Would you hurry up so we can go eat? He scored six goals. He scored one after the empty netter. <laughs> see that shit sent a damn electric shock through your ass so just think if esau were to were to um and you know they started off i remember back in the days man that you they've been um testing pets you know as far as like chipping pets now man that shit been around for man who i'm man i don't even know how long decades man so you don't think that they was chipping pets just letting them damn dogs or cats or whatever just run free and and and, and roam. Motherfuckers ending up, you know, walking from damn Michigan to damn California or something. And they tracking them. Look at all look at all the um the wildlife. They they they, they putting chips on turtles, sea turtles, whales, dolphins, bears, lions. They chipping every damn thing, man. 
and they, and they're telling you that it's all in the, in, in, in the name of you know things going extinct and we need to help the animals and all this other stuff like that but the tech is out there and i don't know you know that's just a spirit that i thought about this right here you know because they can actually that scripture says again um Verse 17, second, just, um, 15 and 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. They can set up frequencies for certain people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like for real, for real. They can, they can make prisons like that. And get the chip in the prisoners and shit like, hey, you go past that line right there, your damn head gonna blow off. Right? I seen a movie the other night. It's kind of a weird ass movie, you know them um 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 Amon um um damn um Japanese. I think it was called uh, Royale Battle. No, was that what it? Yeah, I think it was called Royal Battle. Where they had it was, it was some school kids. The motherfucker had a, abducted a bus of school kids and um and put some collars around their necks, basically. You know that you know if they went out of range or if it was a certain range they was you know uh, you know the damn collar would blow the damn head off then i seen another movie jack i can't think of the name of that movie but this movie was you know they was working at a company i think it was called the the the, the benko experiment or something like that i'm not even sure man but anyway they was working at a government building and then all of a sudden one day some guy gets on the on, on the speakerphone over the over the speaker of the of the company or whatever. The company is like, I don't know, maybe 12, 13th floor story building or something like that. And then all the damn um it, all these uh the metal shutters come up over the windows and they can't get the fuck out. And so he's giving them an ultimatum as to such and such amount of people gotta be killed by this particular time, which in 30 minutes or something like that. And and and, and if you don't do it. You know, then we're going to kill this amount of people. But anyway, the company that they was working for, this government company, they had gotten um, um chips implanted within their heads. Like um two years beforehand or something like that, when they had first got the jobs. So nothing ever happened, but they ended up doing it was supposed to be like an um experimental test on seeing how people would react when it comes to chaos, basically. And so. <laughs> hey, that dude was hitting them goddamn flick. He was flicking them buttons, and motherfuckers' heads was blowing out the, you know. And it was looking gruesome. I can't think of the name of that movie. I think it was uh something Benko Experiment. You know, it's kind of like an off movie or some shit like that. But the shit was alright though. But anyway, it's nothing for Esau to do something like this right here, man. Let's let's get another one. I'm gonna end it out here real quick. But I wanted to touch on this because these people running out here, they about to vote for Trump. And Trump is out here. He's he's accepting money, you know, from from donors that want to, uh, 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 you know, eventually perpetually enslave your ass. Overall, let's see this one. Do the training. He'll be more focused. Yeah. And then it communicates with your phone. But anyway, you see what it is. So you don't think that um 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 Esau got some shit like this that he could use for people? We talking about this man. He he can. Car lots have the ability to shut your damn car off if you don't make a payment. <laughs> we talk about tech like that is out here. So just think the level of what this man is really gonna be doing if he puts some shit like that in you, man. And so we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. You know, and this is a nice, um, a nice, um, um, this was a nice interview. It was only 35 minutes, but, um, hey, and look at them sevens, man. 7.7, .7, um, thousand thumbs up and 777 comments, man. That's, that, that number seven goes into completion. 
she said some stuff, man. She was she was she was giving a rundown and this oh, that was just one of the parts where I'm just like, well, you know what? Let me let me just at least get this part right here and do a lesson on it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, um, it's um, redacted. It's called the deep state mafia is running both political parties. And 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 and, and the elders been saying that all along. The apostles been saying that all along. People really be thinking that they're going out and voting and they're making a difference and it don't even matter. All you're doing is putting towards the economy as far as spending gas. You might stop and get some lunch. Y'all might go to dinner. You know what I'm saying? Wear and tear on your damn car. You could possibly get into a damn accident. You know? So it's money being made on election day just from another end. From you spending money to get there. So it's just money, it's money, money, money. But these donors, man, that's, that's, that's dealing with Trump. Hey, these people have no idea who they're about to vote for and get in there. And, and he's like their, their, their magic man right now. He all at the motherfucking conferences and shit with his ear all bent, that big ass, uh, 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 look like a, uh, a, a damn maxi pad on his fucking ear. And you got people actually wearing those too. There's people at the at, at at the um the conference with him, you know, with with, with these big ass um um, um band aids on their ear, you know, representing him, being shot or 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 being you know his attempted assassination. Man, they love this guy, and don't even know what's about to really happen, bro. They have no idea this man is about to get down on them. And Biden through, man. I I I really can't see you no know, you know I, I'm I'm really seeing this. And if Trump don't win, of course, you know, these so-called white people, they're going to be ready to really get down. So we'll see how it play out. We'll, we'll see how the Lord going to do it. But, you know, um, the, um, you know, the apostle did put out that decree um, like last week or two weeks back now here almost or so saying, hey, pray for the downfall of Babylon. And we've been seeing some shit happening since we started doing it, too. The men of the Lord, man, are out here praying for these down, the downfall of this place. And we're starting to see some beautiful things start to happen, man. So, hey, keep your head on a swivel. We definitely going into some interesting times, man. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashala in the Bible Ball.